Well, folks, one of my favorite air shows, the 2010 Chatham Aeronauts Scale Event, right? We're going to have a great time seeing a lot of great planes today. You know what? I'm not going to waste your time talking to all you people out there. We're going to go right up in the air and see some of these great models. Take care, folks. Well, it seems every time I come to the Chatham Air Show, somebody always amazes me with the plane. And I'm here today with uh, Kevin Perry. Kevin, this is a beautiful Fokker. It's a beautiful Fokker plane. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, thank you. It's a quarter scale Fokker DR1. I modeled it after the uh, Red Baron plane from 1917. I'm sure everybody remembers that plane from snooping the Red Baron or in a history class. It must be a dream to fly. Oh, it's a very good flyer. It's a very light airplane. It's very slow flying. It's, it's not a beginner's plane, but it's easy to fly. Was it difficult to build? Was it a very difficult build? Actually, it's a very simple plane to build. If you've had built one or two airplanes, you could build this airplane. Putting your skin on is so beautiful. Is there a special technique that you use to do it? Uh, I just follow the recommended instructions from the company that makes the covering. The big thing is the prep work. Sanding, sanding, sanding. They get nice, smooth wood to start with. Mm -hmm. And then when it goes on, same thing. Slow. Yes. Method like don't rush it, I guess. Is yeah, that the main very thing? Very slow. The big thing is not to rush. So there you have it, folks. We had a great time today. Kevin, thanks a lot. What Thank a beautiful you. plane. Guys, get out there. Pick up a nice World War I, World War II plane, right? For level two flyers. Have a great time. Okay, we're here today with uh, Wayne Seward. Wayne, how do you do? You've nice come all the way to our beautiful country of Canada from Minnesota. Well, we're next door to you, so yeah. uh, we feel at home here. Now, you've got a beautiful plane here. Uh, what's the history? It's obviously a reproduction of, of an aircraft used during World War II, and it was somebody's personal aircraft. What is it like handling in the air? Well, I'll tell you, this, uh, this particular airplane has quite a bit of right engine thrust, and it has uh, a, a, a very good wing loading. It's very, very light, and consequently, it really flies very nice. I mean, when you turn this airplane, you don't have to do a whole lot. It's so well behaved that, uh, it, that it, it just tracks really well. And the, as far as takeoffs and landings go, I think uh, your video will illustrate that it does float down really very nice with a little bit of flap. Even though we had a little bit of, cr we had a light crosswind. Light, light crosswind, but, but with a little bad. bit of power today, when you have a crosswind like that, the object, of course, is to maintain power and fly the airplane down rather than cut the power and float the airplane down because that's when you get into trouble. Mm -hmm. Takeoffs are, are equally as nice because we do have a, uh, quite a bit of right thrust in the airplane, and um, that really does help when you're trying to take off and you're not getting, you know, the Vortec P factor and all that kind of stuff over the over the tail. But with the right thrust, it 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 hangs in there to the right, and it and it really does behave itself super well. You've got quite a history well, in modeling. Yeah. When I was in the Aerotech for 20 years, and my wife says you've been in epoxy enough, so why don't you give it up? And I said, well, you know, that's not maybe a bad idea. And then I can get back to flying again because, you know, manufacturing these kits, you just don't have a lot of time to go no. fly. And your first love is obviously yeah, flying. Exactly, which exactly. So this past year and a half, I have just gotten back into flying again, and it's been just fun. What would you say to some of the, uh, some of the guys out there, you know, who are flying smaller aircraft than this, uh, you know, maybe 25, 30 inch wingspan, they wanted to move up to this. Would this be a really good way to get back in, you know, get into Warbirds if a guy really wanted to get into it? Yeah, um, your budget will determine a little bit here because you're getting into about a $550 kit and then you're going to get into, I've got a DA-50 in here and uh, a DA-50 is, a, is really, as far as I'm concerned, a great engine. Thanks a lot for all the you're great awesome. info. And there I you go, folks. It. Try to go out there, 
If you want to improve and get into a better plane, there are some great kits out there, right? Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.